everybody, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Today I have something a little different for you. This is something I've been wanting to try for quite some time, but I never quite pulled the trigger, you know what I mean? I saw them, I thought they were cool, but then I saw something else that I knew how to do and how to build, and I kind of kept passing on them. So I'm really excited. My friends, Matt and Charlotte Culp over at the Monarch Miracles channel, if you ever want to know anything you need to know about butterflies, I advise you to check out their channel. They've got some really cool stuff. But they are also extreme Disney fans. I mean, they go to Disney every year. They were married in Disney. So they love Disney stuff. And one day while they were down there, they thought about their dear old pastor and picked up one of these. It's a Metal Earth kit. This is Cinderella's Castle. And so I thought today we'd have a look at what's inside. And I'm planning to build this fairly quickly. But before I open it, I want to give you a little bit of what it says on the back. It says the packaging contains three sheets. So in other words, all the parts here are contained on these three sheets. Uh, as far as building instructions, it says parts can be easily clipped from the metal sheets. As shown, and as shown below, tweezers make an ideal tool for bending and twisting the connection tabs. So no glue, no solder needed. So I'm looking forward to digging into this thing and seeing how it goes. It does say caution contains sharp edges. Uh, hopefully at 59, I'm able to handle that. Uh, it looks like the only way to get into this is to take the scissors to it. So I'm going to do that very gently because it feels like the parts are pretty much up to just slightly below the hole. So I'm going to use the scissors here and uh, hopefully I don't see any metal shards. That's a good sign. So let's strap this out and see what's inside. Okay, we'll start off with the instruction kit. This one here uh, shows us the metal sheets and, and what they are. And uh, it's color-coded, which I'll dig into more as I go, I'm sure. And then it starts with the construction. Shows you which pieces to go. Uh, looks like how to bend them and how to put them together. And you can see a lot of bending and twisting things here. And I'm looking forward to this. And then there's another set of instructions so this is this is quite a few pieces here uh it looks like it's pretty small um, which they usually are as far as the ones that i've seen already build up but as you can see well and of course the the uh, castle itself is iconic so we all kind of know what the castle looks like but as you can see it's starting to come together here in the instructions and uh and again just it looks like it's going to be fun, right? And model building is supposed to be fun, so that's a good thing. And inside are three uh, three metal parts. This might not be the most uh, great thing for video because it's reflecting everything back, but hopefully you can see the size of the parts at least. And uh, you can, if you look through, you can actually see me. There are places here where it's cut out pretty. Um, Pretty amazingly, actually what I'm seeing here is a really amazingly detailed model is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, here we have some more walls and probably various turrets. And, uh, and the rest of the parts. So it's these three, three metal sheets and, uh, and very detailed instructions, very extremely detailed um, pieces. Now, here's my suspicion. First of all, I want to say once again, thank you to Matt and Charlotte. And looking at this, I'm thinking they may not have picked the easiest one. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, it's going to take me a little time. But this is kind of nice in that there's no glue, no paint. So I can do this sitting at the dinner table one night. I can work on it. I'm not going to finish it in one night. I don't believe it looks like it's pretty complex. But I'm looking forward to getting started and digging in on it. There's a, This one actually has blue printed on it as well as being a very nice shiny uh, silver. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this. And I hope you'll follow along for the journey. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it's going to be fun. And as you know, that's good because model building is supposed to be fun. Here's the other thing. Sometimes you got to try something new, right? 
uh, new genres, new types of kits, metal, for example. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you are too. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Take care.